peeps welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing my everyday flawless makeup routine this is literally the makeup that i wear like every day it's sort of like a no makeup makeup look but not really y'all gonna see what i'm talking about um if you're new here do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you are coming back hey babe what is going on what y'all been up to so right now i'm just basically just priming my face with my nyx photo 11 primer um and just basically just prepping my skin i always like to start off with my I always like to start off with my eyebrows first. I know some people do their eyebrows last. Um, but for me, I just like to do them first and get them out the way because those the, the eyebrows and your lashes be the most tedious part. So I just like to get that shit out of the way and um, do that. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to go in with my Mink Eye Browned Eyebrow Pencil. It's always a tongue twister when I say that. So, like I said, lately, well, today is going to be a no makeup makeup look. I already said that like a million times, right? Or it's going to be like a, my everyday makeup tutorial. But I forgot to mention that, or I'm just going to tell you guys right now, that I've really been like on this Kardashian era. And I've, I haven't been contouring. As you notice, like with the Kardashian, especially Kylie. Kylie's been doing it a lot. Um, and 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 Kim too. So they've solely been using blush. With me, I don't really like to contour no more, especially when, even when I do a full face, because I already feel like my face is already structured. So what I mean by structured is like I don't really have like a potato head. I don't have a round face. My face is pretty much structured and is already contoured by itself. So when I do like a heavy contour. I feel like it brings out the drag queen in me. <laughs> it brings out the drag queen transgender in me and I don't really like that look for me. I like a nice, soft, flawless look. So I've definitely been in my Kardashian slash Jenner era and I have not been using any contour. Um, if I do contour, I'll contour lightly with some bronzing powder or I'll just use like a light and just like fluff it out. I won't do like a harsh contour. But for my everyday makeup routine, flawless routine, I do not contour. I basically connect the dots and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by connecting the dots. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean when less makeup is more. Less makeup is more. So thank you, Mario. That's actually, Kim Kardashian and um, makeup artist. He does this look a lot. So basically, I'm going to start off with my blush that I'm going to use. And I'm using a liquid, liquid brush and it is the Rare Beauty. It's the Rare, the rare Beauty um, in the color Happy. So I use that first, then I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Concealer in the color, well not even the color, but this is a shade, but it's in the number 370. And I'm going to place my concealer wherever I'm concealing. I like for my concealer to have a nice little peachy glow to it. So I actually mix my concealer with um, I kind of mix my concealer with my liquid blush and I'm going to show you exactly what I do. Just for it to blend a little bit. Then I'm going to go in and basically so the next um the next thing I'm going to do is 
go in with my um, foundation but this is just me placing where I want my foundation to go so oh and the foundation that I'm using is a dewy smooth normal dry, normal to dry foundation with vitamin E and it's a number 330 yeah 330 toffee caramel and it's the fit me by Maybelline so I'm just gonna place where my foundation is going to go and I am going to connect the dots so what I mean by connecting the dots I'm going to basically start blending but as you can see I'm only using one layer so as I'm talking I'm trying to hurry up and show you guys because um I don't want it to dry however if it does dry you can just go in with some setting spray just to reactivate it so this is me hurriedly hurryingly connecting the dots I'm blending that pink that I put in with my um on my concealer And this is definitely going to give you like a flawless all day. When I say all day, your makeup is not going nowhere. With the blush, like I said, I've been contouring with my blush and I always take it up like this, my temples. It's like how you will do when you contour with your contour cream, but instead you're using your... Oh, and I'm taking the back of my beauty blender and I'm actually doing that part. All right. And I'm just trying to go really fast because like, I do not want to re-wet. I don't want to... I don't really like it. I just really wanted to show you guys the process because this is, this is me most of the time, like really fast. Take it up to your temple. And I really love this, um, I really love this liquid. I think I need some more blush. Yeah, I'm telling you, I am obsessed with this liquid blush. It is so pretty, especially on my skin tone. Alright, so I think we're almost there, yeah. So I'm just going to continue to blend and connect the dots. I really don't want to, um show you guys in bits and pieces I'm trying to like do everything in one solid video so you guys can really see the process so as you can see all that is blended so yeah like I was saying I'm, I'm literally trying to do everything in one shot so you guys can really grasp the concept of what I mean by connect the dots so now I'm this is my foundation and I'm basically just I'm gonna spray it a little bit, but I think it should be fine. That's why I move really fast because I hate like. Reactivating it with um. I should probably need some more. So after I'm done connecting the dots, I'm just gonna go ahead and set and bake. my concealer I don't really do a heavy bake sometimes I do sometimes I don't um, for my everyday look not really and I'm using the Laura Mercier in the color honey I'm gonna contour my nose but I'm gonna use a powder to contour my nose but before I do that I'm just gonna go away I'm just gonna go away I'm just gonna go in with just like my little 
brush and just the places that I set kind of just whisk out the way or I'm not having no flashbacks from the setting powder. Then I'm gonna actually go in with my Laura Mercier, my home grill, my home girl since way back then. Um, as you can see, this is the color I've been using. It's the only color that I contour with, and this is actually the contour kit, but it's in the powder. Um, I do have the cream one, but like I said, I don't really contour like that anymore. So I've just been using the powder to, if I want to contour lightly with my brush, um, or if I want to contour my nose. So that's the only way that I've solely been using it. So I'm going to take my little, um, nose contour brush, and I'm going to go in and lightly contour my nose. And basically this part, I'm just going with the, the shape. I'm just going to buffer it out when I'm done. So, I'm just going to, wherever I place my line is where I'm gonna buff out so it gives it like a natural I don't know what I'm trying to say. This gives it like a natural, what you want to call it? A natural finish. All right, so I contoured my nose. Next, I'm gonna go in with, of course, powder. I use two different powders. I used to use a MAC. I used to use a MAC, but, um, but, Lately, I've been really feeling the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Press Powder Wear, and I also mix it with the Can't Stop, Won't Stop by NYX um, Mattifying Powder, but I actually put this one on last because I feel this has like a really nice, or either it's orange or a red undertone. I believe it's a red undertone that goes great with my skin. So, and to coat my my lashes, I use the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Um, I use this on my bottom lashes as well, but before I apply my, um, before I actually apply my lashes, this is what I coat. This is what I coat my lashes with. Um, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna be using my oops. I'm gonna be using my sparkle, my sparkle mink beauty lash style. Um, I'm just about to add some glue to those. How the saying goes: If you use your, if you use your fingers to apply your lashes, you're crazy. Like, it's some crazy then, child. Cause I could not apply my lashes with tweezers for shit. It's so much easier with my fingers. Like I don't know how y'all use tweezers, to be honest. So I'm just gonna do my other lash. Last, last, I'm actually so, I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna do my lips. That's, that's the last step. Mm. Make sure my brows are intact. So for my lips, for my everyday lip, I'm probably gonna do like a separate tutorial on that, but y'all know for sure I always go in with my Holy Grail Makeup Beauty. Um, brownie lip liner and of course I go in with my oh yeah that out with my shades of nude mm. so 
I'm actually gonna do like a separate video. I wanna do a separate video of my everyday nude lip. But um, Claudia yeah, outline it. Shades of Nude by Make Beauty. You just place a little bit. Kind of rub and pat that in together. <laughs> Today, I actually need to re up. I'm going. I'm gonna go on top with. Um, Pop that off with my MAC lip gloss of class, my classic, the classic. So yeah, that is my everyday flawless makeup routine. Like I said, it's giving real Kardashian slash Jenner vibes. That's just been the vibration I've been on lately. Like their makeup is always on point. And yeah, and these days less has been more for me. It's just given what it's supposed to give. So that is how my makeup routine Ben, I don't like too much cakey, too much makeup, all that layering. I just like one layer, connect the dots, contour my blush, a nice solid lip combo, some cute pair of balm, cute balm, pair of lashes by Mink Beauty. And um, yeah, that completes the look. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another one of your girls' video. Again, if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button like right now and like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And until next video, bye babes.